I'm going to try and go over this pretty quick. Um, first of all, this is a 2024 XLT Power Boost in antimatter blue. I do love the blue color. The MSRP on this truck is about 68000 It does come with a black appearance package. As you can see, it has 20-inch black wheels, comes with black badges, and there's a dual exhaust. Like I said, there's the dual exhaust. It doesn't come with that black lettering in the F-150 from factory. I actually had to add that myself. Another thing I do like is it does have the 360 camera. So when you're inside the truck, it shows you a 360 view above the truck. Another thing is the middle of those lights were orange slash yellow and the same with the side lights. But I put some tint and black those out. All in all, I really do like driving this truck as there are some features that I really do like. As if you put your turn signals on, the fog lights will automatically come on. Same if you turn your wheel one way, they will automatically come on and let you see at night. Another thing I really do like about this vehicle is it comes with a 7.2 kilowatt generator and a couple outlets in the bed. Now there are a couple things that I wish Ford would have done different as I do have chrome lug nuts. I wish those were black since it does have the black appearance package. Same with the power boost emblem. I wish that was black since it is the black appearance package. Now another thing I do like about the truck is it does have 5% tint all the way around except for the front windshield. Another cool feature, this truck will unlock as soon as you walk up to it. Now one thing I do really enjoy is the digital cluster, the big screen, dual climate control, and heated seats. Now one thing I don't know why they don't include for almost a $70,000 truck is leather. I'm also in love with these floor mats as they do go up the sides and over that front lip to ensure that dirt does not get underneath your seat. Now I'll be honest with you, these floor mats, I really do like them as they are super easy to clean. And like I said, they go up the side and over that front lip to ensure that dirt does not get underneath it. Now another thing about these floor mats is you cannot just pull them up as they are clipped down right there to your carpet. So they will not move and slide around. They're actually clipped in place and cannot move. Now moving on to the rear seats, as you can see, it does the exact same thing. It goes up the sides of the vehicle, that way to ensure that dirt does not get on the underside. Now I do want to give Last Fit a huge shout out as they sent me these to make this video. And they have a ton more products on their website. They have floor mats for almost every vehicle. They have lights for almost every vehicle. So you should go check them out. Moving back to the review, you can see that they give you an American flag on each side right here. It also has this little camera and one up there. I don't know if you can see it, but that camera watches you while you drive. And there's this thing called Blue Cruise. The Blue Cruise will drive for you, but it makes sure that you're looking at the road using that camera and the one up front. All in all, I don't know if I trust this truck to drive me by itself yet, but I guess we'll have to see. And I guess that's another question I wanted to ask. For Blue Cruise, for the truck to drive itself, would you pay $800 a year for it? Now, one thing I do really enjoy, again, about this truck is it gets about 25 to 26 miles to the gallon. Other times it will get around 30. And if you're really like hard on the pedal, you'll get about 20 to 23. Personally, coming from a 5.0 V8, I was getting about 15 to 18 miles per gallon. Uh, you know, this, this tops it and it keeps up with the power like almost identically. Now, another thing is you can see that front camera on that badge, that front camera and those sensors alert you when you're close to anything up front, which I really do like, lets me know if I'm really close to something so I can avoid hitting it. Now, as you can see, it says I get about 23.1 miles to the gallon. Now, that's not accurate as I've been tracking it per trip and per trip, it does say I get about 27 miles to the gallon. I will show you one of my favorite things to do is change the modes on this. I do have sport mode. I believe it changes everything to black and red. I do have eco mode, which will change everything to green. Um, I've never put it in tow haul mode, so we'll see what it does in tow haul mode. Um, I also have normal mode, which is just typically everyday driving. I do have slippery. Um, I've never really been in slippery mode. Um, I guess it puts you in four wheel drive. 
Um, and lastly, I do have off-road. Now, if you do have the FX4 package, it does come with more stuff like rock crawling and a couple other things, but here's off-road and it does show you your rear backup camera as long as all the angles to, or I should say as well as all the angles to a compass and your RPM gauge. Moving on to over here, I do have the Pro Power onboard and the Pro Power onboard. It just tells me if I can, you know, I can activate my generator and see how much wattage I'm using. Um, I can also go to zone lighting and the zone lighting, it'll light up the outside of my truck and I can set up which zones that I want to light up, which is also pretty cool. Now inside, I also have the workspace. If I just click this button, it will automatically fold that shifter. I can flip this center console over and now I have a workspace. Now underneath that workspace is a huge center console, which some people actually put a cooler inside there that Ford makes that you can store your drinks in. Now, other than that, this button on the far left is your cruise control. Here's your lane keep assist. If you have them on at the same time, blue cruise will take over and it'll set hands-free driving. This button up here allows you to use adaptive cruise control and it will automatically brake or speed up for you, just depending. As you can see, the hybrid just kicked on, which means the motor kicked on because the battery was running low on a charge. Now this truck, as I mentioned before, has an MSRP of $68,000, which I didn't pay. I got it for around $55,000. You guys let me know if you think that's worth it down in the comments.